Okay. I don't know if you're there yet, but uh, I do not see me. Oh, there we go. I'm live. What do you know? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> see my little... Uh... <laughs> My little drive-in theater over there in the background. I really like that. I don't know why. Hey, shakalaka. Yeah. And we hear. <laughs> we hear and we hear. Oh, man. Okay. Have to work hard to get the spellings right on both of those. Huh? Next is, yes, they're there. <laughs> ah, hey, how's it, Brendan? Hey, Rick. How are you, Puppy Janie? What's happening, gang? I know, I'm a little stuffed up this morning. Could not sleep last night, man. I hope you guys slept better than I did. Hey, love pet pet, how are you? Uh, oh my goodness, I know. Well, you know, first world problems, right? But uh, I, I think it was cold last night. I le you know, I sleep with all the windows open, right? And uh, a couple times last night I went, oh, kind of cold. I know you people with snow right now are going, oh, poor thing, must have been down to 65. But I think it was a little colder than that. Hey, Lono, how you, brother? What? Haven't been to sleep yet. Hey, photo look, mahalo for hosting the show. Hey, Kevin, how's it? Thanks for being here. Goof morning to you. And there's Vicky Asato. Uh, let's see who else showed up. Thomas the Turtle, all you early birds. OMG, how's it? Yamamoto-san, oh. Uh, and there's Kailana Honu. Goof morning to you too, my brother. Hope all is going well, huh? Look at that. And there's Rick saying uh, aloha kakahiaka to some peoples. There we go. Let's see. Hey, Hanabara. How are you, brother? Hanabara. Good morning, everybody. How's it? Okay. Hey, Doe is in the house, but looks like K yeah, today. That's okay. Lurk. Just give us the wellness check once in a while. Hey, how you, Luke? Mahalo for hosting. Appreciate it. There we go. Ah, looks like that gang all here so far. Oh, what was that? Oh, I'm, Gary, I missed what you did. What, were you hosting? I think so. Shakalaka now hosting the stream. Mahalo, you bagas. There we go. Man, look at this. It's uh, one minute to the top of the hour, and we already have 26 people on. What is up? Something going on I don't know about? Hey, how's it, Why Willy? Goof morning to you. Huh? How are you? Hey, love Pat Pat saying goof morning to Hanabara. Photo Luke, how's it? Hey, I passed out last night. Sorry. I like catch your live show. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I had the two shows and uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> After the second one, I just went, you know. You know, and I and I did. I, I watched a, a a movie, but I got halfway through uh, something. I forgot well, what was it. Some kind of action movie. It didn't catch me. You know what? If it's something that has too many car chases in it, I don't know why. I just lose it. You know. Hey, DJ. There's the smoke meister right there. Are you, brother? Oh, hey, Tina. Thank you for cheering the three biddies. I appreciate that. Roulette circle. There's our lucky charm right there. Hey, uh, Kalan's the Great. <laughs> Aloha from Utah. Kalan's the Great. Oh, man, that's great. <laughs> At what point did you get to the Great? Did you ever go, Aloha, my name is Kalan's the, you know, okay, but I'm working on it. One day I will be Kalan's the Great. And here you are. So happy to have participated in that in some small fashion. There we go. Andy, we miss you. What? What? what do you, really? I'm here every morning. What, what, what? Why do you miss me? Hmm? <laughs> what? What? Where? Where wasn't I? Let me ask that. Or did you miss the the, the tree turtle show yesterday? That could be. I don't know. Hmm. 
I'll be hosting. Yes, that's right on. For those who don't know, if you're on Twitch and you host a show, when people go to your um, your channel, then they see this show, which, uh, you know, is better than, you know, like I guess some people have a, hey, I'm, I'm here, but I'm not doing anything. You know, one of those kind of slides. Hey, Nani Aloha, I got your email. Um, yesterday, I, I dealt with 108 emails, so I, I think I owe you an email. I have to forward the uh, C Honda uh, new article. Haven't done any of that, but uh, I was just burning out yesterday. Oh, that YouTube down add lots of stress takes a toll. Oh, yeah. Well, I just, you know, it's interesting because I was just coming on and going, wow, what's up? And just as the show was starting at uh, Tree Turtles uh, uh, yesterday afternoon, it came back on. Okay. So, yeah, it wasn't that bad. But I, I, know, what, uh, I know what's going on. It's, um, you know, I usually try to you know, I exercise a little every day so I can sleep and, you know, but it's been raining, so I haven't been in the yard or walking or doing anything. And then I end up, you know, here doing this for hours on end and uh, can't be good for you. It's like my daughter says, Dad, sitting is the new smoking. Yeah, but it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> Uh, the YouTube outage was crazy. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, it's uh, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Pave paradise. They put up a parking lot. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people went, oh, no. I, I, I'm that way. Without Internet, I'm like, you know, and then, you know, it's just, that's just the Internet gods telling you, go read. Yeah, so I do a little bit of that. I don't know if I told you I had to buy I had to go buy stronger glasses, reading glasses. You know, I go to like Longs, right? Because I, I was I had one pair and I had to put on another pair over, you know, I know. Ah, anyway, eh, Kalan's the great. Oh, the greatest. Oh, that's the next that's the next level there. Kalan's the greatest. Oh, well, good. Good luck earning the EST for the end of your name there, Kalans. I hope it works out for you. Anything we can do to help, please let us know. Aloha, Majin Gang. Hey, there's Medium 7 Up right there. How's it, Miles? Huh? Hanabara, good morning. That's from Wild Willie right there. Oh, and Nani Aloha saying, how's it? Oh, you get fans, eh, you bugger? Miss you. That's why everybody's here early. Oh, wow. Okay, Rick. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I thought maybe I wasn't here when I was supposed to be or something, but sounds like uh, I was. So it's the least I can do. Thank you guys for being here. Tell you what, I haven't been to sleep since I don't remember Monday or Thursday. Really? I'll go sleep now. <laughs> you know. You know, you gotta sleep when you get tired sometimes. But for me last night I could I could not turn off my brain. You know, usually I'm pretty good at going, you know, breathing and think trying to think about nothing and then I fall in but I just after just one in, one out, I wonder about how my why my watch isn't charging as like it should. It's acting pretty good today, though. Don't know. And there I am. Look, see? I was in the middle of a conversation, and my mind went someplace else. I know. I got to buy a leash. A mind leash. Hey, you. Get back over here. Get, get back over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 okay, okay. I'm going to stay on track. That's right. Never mind. Make that kind of tangent, tangent action. Oh. Tangent, what? Well, that's one dance. No, stupid. Oh, sorry. Uh. Shakalaka, I love the shirt. Oh, thank you. This is a Tory Richards. 
they just i don't know what it is you know somebody's good at this and you know today when i was putting it on shakalaka i mean i don't mean to you know sound like a fanboy, which i kind of am just the buttonholes and when you when you feel the buttons and stuff you know just the way the whole thing is made hey photo look 100 bits i saw you thanks eh? oh look at that one oh he make the good one that thanks eh? 100 bits wow kind of plenty oh sadly i also had a tough night of little sleep need some exercise have dojo tonight oh there you go that'll be that'll do it oh and i was practicing I, it's hard not to fall asleep on the way home shakalaka 100 bits too hey oh well good luck on your dojo action okay hold on my nose is running a little bit uh i know it's from I, you know last night that had something to do with it hey but you know what there are people with much, much bigger problems tina rose cager shakalaka i was just going to say say that great shirt yes yeah, thank you uh tina and again you know i don't mean to sound like a fanboy but the build on these shirts it's weird i mean you know i obviously i go through a lot of shirts so i'm always buttoning and unbuttoning but when you just feel the buttons there's just something about them i don't know and they have this iridescent uh shine to them i don't know what they look it's like they're abalone or something i don't know i don't think they're that but oh hey puppy cheney 200 bits gee you guys what oh i'm gonna wear this shirt more often <laughs> thanks eh? who and ihilani 100 thanks you guys oh man walking behind your lawnmower is like exercise yes in fact i i plan to do that today um rick yeah no it's not like exercise it is exercise in fact you know i i i don't know if i told you rick but i bought the uh the um self-propelled lawnmower i know and, it, and you know you think oh that's easier right if you put it on slightly fast then you're actually having to kind of keep up with it and you go faster but sometimes i have to turn it off to do you know intricate stuff but but when I'm going back and forth, I try whip them. Que aloha. Because I like the exercise. Yeah. That's how. I don't like the push one only because it, it just doesn't cut as well. You know, we had that and then we went to the drive one. And now we have the electric lawnmower with drive. Yeah. Still haven't done a review on it, but, you know. And anyway, and, and you know, one of the things with the electrical lawnmower is when I clean it, instead of shooting it with the hose like I did, I, I shoot it with air because I'm afraid because it's electric. If you just shoot it with a hose, you know, electricity, water, I don't know. Am I being paranoid? But the, but the air is good. You just got to remember to wear glasses, you know. Okay, let's say, hey, there's Nani. I love that picture of you with the fun size Nani. Oh, thank you, Nancy, for the 15 bits. Appreciate it. It all adds up. Help out the show. Thanks, ah. Eh? Oh, okay. Hey, Dan, how are you, Dan? Good to see you here. Oh, okay. Oh, it's 10 after. Oh, we, we're supposed to start the show at 6. I forgot. Okay, we'll wait five more minutes and uh and do that okay in fact instead of the soft opening i'm gonna play a song that every time i listen to it i go this thing is too laid back for during the show <laughs> you know this this one tune i did hey how's it rick you're a you big squirrel knots in the house as green man hey thanks hey, you guys for joining us ihilani how are you are you sneaking eh, with the aloha kakahiaka and i never noticed sorry how are you guys okay let's see yeah let's play this little tune and then um uh you know i'll get my brain in gear here i'm trying to get to the to the bottom of the chat Whoo. Let's see, my body still saw so moving furniture and boxes. Get plenty more for do. I saw. I know. It's okay. You're doing it though. That's the trick. 
How's it, Gary? No water on electrical. Your instincts are correct, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I get to use that big compressor that I don't do anything else with lately. Ah, Pocoli, I really dislike moving. Oh, is, does anyone like it? Except those who have moving companies that sell the service. They're the only ones that like it, I think. Maybe. Maybe they don't even like it. <laughs> you never know. Hey, Papi Cheney, I played the cheating boyfriend. Somebody yell from the audience, perfect. Oh, no can on that. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, OG, Eba Beach Boy. All right, let's play this laid back thing. Try not to fall back asleep, okay, you guys? Ah, <laughs> I know. I just need a little time to blow my nose here without uh, <laughs> grossing anybody out. This is a little... Um, a little uh, slow motion through Kahalu'u. Okay, here we go. No. 
oh, 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 sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, that song, man, that's, that's, uh, that's a toe tapper, huh? <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, you know, uh, Gary Brown suggested that uh, Lono write a Dolly song. You know, um, Gary, I don't know, uh, but Satchamo already beat him to it. I don't know, you, didn't, you never heard the song? Well, hello, Dolly, how you been? Dolly, it's so nice to have you back where you belong. <laughs> uh, how many times you had to sing that song, Lono? Huh? Uh, there you go. Hello, Dolly. Ask how right there. What time we get now? Oh, 17 after. Okay, let's try to wake up a little bit and play the official opening of the song. Welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. There you go, gang. Heavy on Hawaiian style. Very uh, glad to see you here. Couple people snuck in. Hey, Cindy Krause. Don't can I remember if I said aloha kakahi aka to you? But there you are. Also, Green Man. I think I saw when Spock on as you, Steve Yosh. How's you, brother? And that's funny. <laughs> Gary, hand truck song. Okay. <laughs> now we got to stick with Dolly. Dolly, get the, get the feel. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Okay. Groove in. How's it? Okay. Anyway, let me do my official opening here. How's it, gang? And welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. That's right. My name is Andy Bumatai, and I will be your chat moderator, bus driver, hall monitor, JPO janitor whatever and hey, you know what i'd like to welcome you and remind you that the daily pigeon live is a chat show that practices aloha in other words we are kind respectful and show compassion for each other ash right gang because we call everyone in the chat group the hamajang gang hamajang in hawaiian pigeon english means all mixed up from any kind because we have people from all walks of life and and many have strong opinions that just might spark a flame war and get people typing in all caps, all mad at each other. Well, we ask, please, can you leave those opinions outside the door when you take off your rubber slipper before you come inside the Daily Pigeon Live? Because here, we like to concentrate on what brings us together, what we have in common, not what separates us. In fact, we always try to avoid what we call the tree calls, political, medical, and cynical. I know that one's difficult, okay? So if can, can, we would appreciate it. And you will also notice that we speak small kind pidgin English, a colloquial vernacular spoken in the Hawaiian archipelago, you know, because we like remind people who may have been here or who grew up here small kind of the Hanabara days. Okay, gang? So, welcome once again to the Daily Pigeon Live. Thanks, Ed, for being here. Okay, there we go. That's the little speech. And let's see who came in while I was doing that. Oh, I don't see. Oh, I think I, yeah, I said hi to Big Squirrel Notch. Hey, JC. How are you, girlfriend? Huh? There's JC right there. Anyone like 
paint one rock. There we go. In fact, look, there's love pet pet. How's it? And good morning, JC Norco. Ah, there, we, there she is. Okay, let's start with the first poll. For those of you who may just be joining us, we play small kind holo holo movies, you know, just to remind you a little bit. There's no rhyme or reason to the B-roll in music I add, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So don't go, eh, I never know had one tira in Kahalu, okay? Because, again, yeah, just getting creative with that kind, but we do that. We still we, you know, we uh, kind of communa talk on the uh, chat here. And also we do polls. Now, what a poll is, is what we do is like, for instance, right now, the first poll today is without speed dial, how many numbers could you remember in your phone? Okay, without speed dial, how many numbers could you remember in your phone? Now, I never write in your phone because no more that much room. But if you look at the top of the chat, right, you will see without speed dial. Okay, now, uh, so, you know, pick the one that is most applicable to you and we'll see how that goes. Okay, the choices are, well, most of them, half of them, a few one or two, and I'd be toast. Yes, that would be me. I'd be toast. <laughs> I know. Ah, anyway, we get, you know, you get addicted to the speed dial. Oh, I don't know. What's my wife's number? Boom. I know. You ever get to the grocery store? Uh, sir, would you like your discount? What's your uh, phone number? And you realize it was your wife's phone number, right? Because, you know, and then you go, uh, hold on. <laughs> Because I never carry the little swipe cards, you know, for Safeway and Longs and, you know, Times and whatever, right? So anyway, uh, that was the poll. So let's see. Wow, already going. Plenty of people participating in the poll. That's what we do. I remember all the old numbers, but not the new ones. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> How's it, Marmac? Uh, thank you for hosting the show. Appreciate it. Oh, morning, Devin, JC, uh, Kehaulani, and Kanehekili. That's Cindy Krause. Woo. I know my number, if that counts. You know what? That does, uh, Tina Rose, because a lot of people, what's your phone number? Uh, because they don't call themselves, right? Yeah. Well, hold on, let me text you, <laughs> and then you'll know my number. I know. Where the poll? What? Come on, Willie. It's at, the, it's at the top of the chat. You know? But you, you never see him before. Huh? Yeah, it's at the uh, the very top of the chat. I hope I hope it showed up on yours. Maybe it... Hey, you don't know many hoonies. Eh? You better watch out. I've got mom and dad's cell memorized and my home phone growing up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I know. Yes, it takes a while to get reorganized. Oh, I know, Marmac. I have trouble remembering my phone number. I never call me. Well, why? You miss you, miss you or are you guys not getting along? <laughs> uh, it's a wonderful life. Oh, look at that. Yep. Oh, just a general yep. Okay. I like that. Hey, Wild Willie, if you don't see, get out and come back in. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. If you don't see the chat, then you might have to close the uh, browser and come back in. I think <laughs> you might have to get out and come back in. Oh, that's that. That's the technical term I'm, I'm uh, translating. <laughs> I love it. You gotta get out, get back in. That's all right there, Vicky. Oh, what K crew? Okay, Vicky, mahalo for the wellness check. We appreciate that. Had to reboot Andy. I see the poll now. You had to reboot Andy? <gasps> oh, no. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Yeah, sometimes that happens again. I have no control over what's going on on all the individual machines. And right now we have about 53 people um, on the Twitch site. So that's, uh, that's, that's kind of plenty. Gotta go teach. Fourth and fifth graders are a starting unit on musical cultures. And I'm presenting 
uh, on Hawaii today. Got fifth grade to try some hula. <laughs> oh, that's got to be cute. Keep your eyes on the hands. Tutu going to take care of us. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh, Cindy Krause, good morning from Devin. How's it? Sometimes I remember my number only when I put fingers on the keyboard. Strange. You know, that is not strange, uh, quality, because it's kind of a muscle memory thing. You know, I was studying the um, uh, the abacus, right? It, it, you know, it's called, uh, 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 a, a so, what is it called? Uh, Solomon, uh, there's a Japanese version. Anyway, um, that's the one I was practicing with the two beads on the top. Uh, anyway, and they say that after you get good at it, in fact, th they, there are people who pretend to hold it and they can do math as long as they can do their fingers on this imaginary abacus. So, yeah, no, you're not crazy. Mind works in mysterious ways. I know. Oh, have a great day, Miles. And that's from Kulika, 1965. Ah, oh, life is good in the hood. Oh, getting better with coffee. Oh, okay. You had to say the C word and ignite my uh, caffeine consumption. I was coming up with an alliteration while I was sipping there. I don't know if you saw that going on in my mind. It's not pretty. I'd say I'd be <clears throat> Annie's sweet bread toast. Hmm? Where did that come from? I must have missed one part of that private conversation. Oh, green man, moving more than death even. Yeah, I don't like move too much. I kind of OP a lot at, oh, um, I can't stand moving, I know. In, fa in fact, I remember I was talking to Augie T one time, you know, and he was telling me his dad, may he rest in peace, used to do this thing every once in a while, he'd go, he'd just get up in the morning, he'd tell the whole family, okay, overhaul! And overhaul meant they had to move everything out of their house. I mean, you know, couches and everything, everything from your bedroom, move it out of the house, onto the yard, clean the house, and then put everything back. He called it overhaul. He goes that when they were kids, oh, they go, no, dad. I don't know where he came up with that. Real Filipino action, huh? We're going to clean them good this time. Wow. <clears throat> well, look at that. So far, 51% could remember a few numbers. And uh, I would be in the I'd be toast category. Oh, I hate moving when I'm dead. Socks, yeah. Well, I've never done that, but uh, if I die, I will let you know. Hey, Miles. So, <laughs> that's so great. Fifth graders doing hula. So cool. I know. My, my wife teaches a fourth, third, fourth. I think some fifth graders every once in a while, but... That age, and most of them have cell phones. I, I know, it, it blows your mind. For they, they come out of school, first thing they do, ping, ping. hey, where are you, mom? I'm in line, hold on, okay. Ah, just like when you can remember driving route, but when you stay behind the wheel, somehow it's like the car just nowhere for go. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, somebody's having breakfast over here. Check that out. Portuguese sausage, eggs, and rice. <gasps> oh, yeah. Lately, I've been replacing the rice with wheat toast. Don't know why. And then, and then um, eggs over easy so I can broke them and dip the toast inside. I know. Don't know when I'd started doing that, but that's how I've been doing it. Who uh, lurching in the car from here on out. Oh, lurking from the car. Have to go jam to work. Andy and Gangi have a safe and wonderful day. Still, till tomorrow, aloha. Okay, Papi Cheney, thanks, yeah. Oh, man. I feel that. I only want to move one more time, then never again. Oh, man. I know. It's a wonderful life. 
releasing some dolphins. Ha, 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 that's how. Augie T cleaning house right now, I heard. Yeah, he won his, uh, he won his uh, whatever the heck he was running for, whatever. <laughs> You know, I mean, and, and then when, you know, when he, uh, we had him on the show, right? And I asked him not to be political because I was interested um, to talk to him about a comedian's perspective on what it was like being taken seriously, but he couldn't help it. He, he got into his, his spiel. <laughs> I, you can't blame him. That's why he won because he, he's fixated on stuff, you know? And I, I, and he, he ran against, uh, I guess that guy, Will Espero, nice guy. I met him. But I knew he wouldn't have a chance against Augie because that's what Augie does, promotes himself. Radio. He lost his radio job, you know, though, because of it. He was on the radio every morning, right? <clears throat> when he filed papers to run, they fired him. Yeah. And he went, why? And they went, what? Because if you're on the radio, then we have to put your, you know, uh, your, your, the guy you're running against, give him equal time for free. And he and, and Augie would be on every morning. So this Will could come there and go, I want equal time. So guess what? Fired him. Wow. Yeah, that, that caught him completely off guard. Okay, I'm going to lurk in the shadows. All right, Devin. Thanks, ah. Uh. Augie T. Oh, spell check. I meant Augie T. Eh. <laughs> Yeah, very subtle, don't know. <laughs> it took me a while, sorry. Ah, oh man, toast. Oh yeah, look, okay, the, 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 pole is pow. You could remember a few numbers. I'd be toast was second place. One or two, 13%, half, 10%, most. Only three people said they could remember most of the numbers. <clears throat> Well, you know, I guess most is relative, right? If you only have four numbers in there, then, you know, most is four numbers. But if you like me, you get 50 numbers, no way. Ah, yeah, I didn't know Augie got fired from the radio. Yeah, that's right, Willie. They said, hey, you know, and, and that was his main income, too. You know, and, and that, and that what, what, what did he run for? Council member or whatever? You know, that doesn't pay that much, right? It's only a part-time job, basically. Hmm. Hey, Andy, have a great day. Come ride motorcycles with us in Utah someday. Yeah, I went to Utah. I went to, um, oh, where was it? Uh, my friend, um, um, I can't, I can't remember the, but I, yeah, I, I've ridden motorcycles in Utah. In fact, I rode, uh, that was one of the longest rides I've ever done was from Utah all the way to San Diego. I did that in one day. Oh man, it was fun for the first five hours and then it started becoming work. But, um, I'm trying to think of the area he's in. Um, He's a blogger. I'm spacing out too early to come up with names. He's on my speed dial, so, you know. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> yeah. Andy, uh, you his idol, he said. I saw you and figured, uh, he saw you and figured out his gifts. Yeah, well, he was in fourth grade when he saw me. <laughs> I hope he mentioned that part. I was opening for Yvonne Ellerman. And he came to that concert with his mom, and he and he and then I walked on and I did my thing, and he went, one guy on a stage all by himself, and this was at the NBC Arena. There was probably, you know, five thousand people there or something. Yeah, that's when he went, bing, yeah, and he went on to do very well, yeah, and uh, that's right. <laughs> Look at this. Augie T is, is your city councilman. It's good to have a friend to call when the city no pick up your Opala. Well, he's going to be involved in more than that. And, they and, and you know, in Mililani, they're very good about stuff, you know. But I, I don't know why anyone would want to do that job. You know, there's a pothole. Just rains. How come they don't come fix the pothole? Hi, you, Popolo, brother. Aloha, kakahi, aka. We just finished a poll about... If um, 
If you didn't have your speed dial, how many of those numbers could you remember? Yeah, most people said, eh, a few. Okay, guys, uh, let's take another little jaunt through. Uh, I tried to organize some we haven't played in a while, so let's go through Makakilo. Okay, here we go. An August summer breeze blows outside as the wayfaring daughter arrives. You left us for so long, but you're here now. We can hide the tears in our eyes. I know you suffered long. Some time just to be on your own The days have come and gone And it's clear now there really ain't no place like home And you fly like a dove To join your true love And like the sunrise Your voice was the window to dreams Whenever you would see All feel silent and time would stand still so it seems You fly like a dove To join your true love And like the sunrise There's a quick little ditty. You know, I've mentioned this before, but I really like that song, uh, the words to it, because it's about the wayfaring daughter, you know, who comes back and uh, everyone uh, is, you know, is all happy and stuff. And then and it said, there's a line in there, you flew like a dove to be with your love, right? And I think a lot of women can uh, relate to that move, right? But then she comes home and... You know, the words go on to say, you know, like the sunrise, you light up our life. Oh, wonderful stuff here. <clears throat> and, uh, whoo, look at this. Here's uh, Gil. How's it, Gil? How are you, brother? And it's great. Goof morning. What did I miss? I love the uh, perspectives here. <laughs> Big Squirrel said, no, uh, uh, Gary, um, uh, Gary says everything. Wait, hold on. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, mouse. Uh-oh, my mouse has decided. Okay, <laughs> Gary says, everything. And then Green Man, oh, you never miss too much. <laughs> it's all relative, is it not? Oh, is it still there? Is what still there? Don't know. Let's see. Oh, don't know what you mean. If, if can, you guys, you know, you got to speak in... Uh, complete sentence as best you can because the chat moves so fast sometimes people look at it and go, is it still there is what still there we don't know what you're talking about and we like give you one good answer oh you so romantic nd oh am i oh, that's it's a good thing i guess i'm kind of proud of that yeah it's hard to stay romantic you know right good good though because then when you look at your wife Ooh, 
sausages. <laughs> okay, let's look at another poll here. Okay, uh, and this one says, <clears throat> "Have you lied to spare someone's feelings?" Okay, have you ever lied? To spare someone's feelings, not for anything, uh, you know, skullduggerous, but, you know, just to spare hurting someone's feelings. Have you ever lied? Okay. It's at the top of the chat. Uh, and the choices are only family, only co workers, only sometimes, and only about people's kids. <laughs> No, be honest. Isn't my child the best looking child you ever seen in your life? Oh yeah. Uh, I gotta I gotta agree with you on that one. Yeah. Sh shouldn't a nose be in the middle, but I'm I just you know, I'm just wondering. No. Oh okay, but you know, yeah, it's interesting. No, I just got interesting. <laughs> ah, Okay, I know. Ooh, DLR, what is DLR? <laughs> oh, pole. No, not that kind of pole. I know. Maybe we should call these the brass poles. What do you say? Oh, uh, I remember one, ta one time I was, uh, this is years and years ago, but I was talking to uh, a young lady who was a pole dancer at a club, right? <clears throat> I know it's hard to imagine bikers going to those kind of clubs, but um, I was talking to this young lady and uh, I asked her, I said, you know, what, what, what's, what's one of the things about doing this that, you know, that you don't you don't like i mean the money is good and all that kind of stuff and you, you you would expect well it gets kind of embarrassing and sometimes i have to do things you know for tips that maybe i wouldn't rather you know you, that's what you'd expect right you know what she said she goes when the other girls use lotion and then go on the pole and then when you turn to go on the pole it's all slippery with their lotion Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. That one caught me completely by surprise. I know, <clears throat> Andy. My answer to their good-looking kid might be, ah, uh, cannot argue with that. <laughs> oh man, that's a good answer. Well, you can't argue with that. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot the e. What? What? I don't catch. I gotta go back, huh? <laughs> Oh, uh, too far back. Anyway, Andy, did she bend down to tie the laces on your shoe? No. <laughs> Actually, we were outside the club. I don't know. I guess she. We we were outside, and uh, this uh, gal. Uh, came out and you know a bunch of us were hanging around our bikes and a bunch of the girls came out and I guess it was their break and they were we just, we're talking to them <laughs> before we went on our merry way but uh yeah I don't know I, I just seem to remember that I'm a Sagittarius hard not to be honest yeah my brother was a Sagittarius I am a Capricorn I, I, I don't much believe in that stuff, but uh, some of it makes sense. You know, I've, I have a, pr uh, a friend who does those readings and the stars, and every once in a while I'm going, wow, mean, you know. Oh, it's a Bob Dylan reference, Tangled Up in Blue. Oh, oh no, no, I didn't. I'm sorry I missed that one. Oh, Bob, who can keep up with his lyrics? I know. It took me. Uh, you, oh, hey, thank you. Look at this. Uncle Pono has gifted uh, Kulika a sub. Oh, you generous bug are you, huh? <sighs> Let's see. Tangled up in blue. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I don't know the. I don't know that one. But I do remember that. Uh, I think was it Johnny was in the basement. It was mixing up the medicine. 
and uh, I was on the pavement. I was thinking about the government, and a man in a coonskin hat, badge out, laid out, said he had a bad cough, wants to get paid off, and look out, kid, no matter what you did, because God knows when, but you're doing it again. You got to duck down the alleyway looking for a new friend. Yeah, the man in the coonskin cap and the pig pen wants $11 bills, and, and you only had 10 I think. Was that the story? I'm not exactly sure. <gasps> ah! Pfft! Oh, so hot, eh? Ah, I am so old when I danced. Never had pole. <laughs> ah, well, that particular kind of pole, everyone said, So, oh, you think Tino's dancing? Ooh, me and that girl. She get the moves. Okay, <clears throat> that choice too. Okay. <laughs> hey, help her out of a jam. I guess I used a little too much force. <laughs> Helped her out of a jam. I guess I used a little, oh, a little too much jam. Not enough uh, peanut butter. Hey, how's it, Steven? Mahalo for the 10 bitties. Appreciate it. Thanks, ah. Uh. Oh, wow. Nice, Andy. <laughs> uh, uh, morning, Andy and gang. I'm late, but made it. There you go, Steven. Thanks, ah, uh, for being here, you bugger. Yeah. Looking pretty good. We, we've, I think we're averaging about 60 still. Somebody else was asking, how's the, uh, how's the things going? The poll, you're just in time. Have you ever lied to spare hurting someone's feelings? And 90% only sometimes. I know. Look at that. I mean, the rest are like negligible. Most people have only lied sometimes to spare hurting someone's feelings, you know? And, and, and I guess really small kids don't count. Is there really a Santa Claus? You know, you gotta say, no, that's just a guy at the mall. You know, he, he does that once a year because, you know, he's generally homeless and doesn't like to shave. So we clean him up and trot him out every uh, December. But other than that, you know, what can I say? <laughs> no, 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 I was just joking. No, 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 that's just me going off on a tangent. Sorry about that, kid. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, Andy, you rock subterranean homesick blues. That's right. <laughs> I used to do that in my act, you know. You, you, you know, what I, what I did uh, in my act, Rick, it, I used to do this bit about um, uh, rap, right? And I said, hey, you know what? I said, you know, these uh, the young people, you know, this whole rap thing, they think they came up with it. The first rapper was actually Bob Dylan, right? John's in the basement mixing up the medicine. I'm on the pavement thinking about the government, the man in the coon skin, the badge out laid out since he got a bad cough, wants to get paid off. <laughs> right? It was rap. Remember with the with the with the with the sign he was doing the thing? I know. Everything old is new again. I usually keep quiet and try not to lie until the uncomfortableness passes. Yeah. Well, sometimes you're, you know, directly. Well, what do you think of this? Uh, you know, I, if I was going to paint my house, I think I would use purple and green. Um, you know, a lot of people would say that doesn't match, but, you know, if you kind of squint your eyes and turn your head sideways, small kind, yeah, 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 I get it. And, you know, most of your neighbors Filipino, so nobody going to even notice. I, I'm just saying, you know. <clears throat> okay. Uh, can, can, I just came for pick up the lumpia. Skills, Andy! I don't know about skills, but <laughs> anything verbal I've been kind of pretty good at. Eh, not to lie, but if someone's baby is not that cute, I'll just say, oh, look at you, instead of saying, oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, look at you. How come everybody, when they look at my baby, they only say, look at you, huh? Well, you know, I can't argue with that. <laughs> ah, I'm adding them all up, you notice. Not bad, Andy. Good rap. 
Yeah, and it, you know, the whole rapping thing and, and, and the rest of that was, and if you want to be a real rapper, never point at anything like this, okay? If you want to be a rapper, you point with your wrist. Hey, man, what's happening? Look at that guy over there. Hey, look, there's my clock. Oh, look at my microphone. Oh, I got me a lamp right there. You see my lamp? Ah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> How about this? Am I fat? Mm. You know, in, during the Renaissance, women were, uh, were what would be considered today as overweight. But back then, it was a sign of prosperity and very attractive. You were just born in the wrong... <clears throat> Time. <laughs> I got locked up there. Sorry. Okay. Only sometimes 91%, and everybody, and only three other people voted in the other categories, and nobody lied to hurt anyone's feelings in their family. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm glad about that. Well, nowadays you can hide the uncomfortableness behind a face mask oh that's so true you know th that's one of the things about the face masks that you know i i really i really enjoyed seeing people smile or doing little things that you know oh hey let me catch that door for you you know and then now they just walk through it's like a robot you know and people forget that you know a little nod or just a hand gesture that isn't their mouth would mean a lot but they don't I know. When you're in the business of making people smile for so long, you kind of miss that. I know. Yeah, like my bald head's not that bold. <laughs> well, bald and bold, you know, that's only one uh, vowel away. So, yeah, you're not bald, you're bold. There we go. I get a bold head. Eh, but nobody say. Uh, so instead of bolo head, you went holo head. That's right. You're traveling around. And speaking of holo holo, let's play another one here, okay? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> um, oh, here's one. Uh, this one. What, what, oh, by the way, what's today? Thursday? Oh, we got to play the Thursday one. That's the one that sounds like uh, Gordon Heavyfoot. Uh, but, you know, while I look for that, let's let's take a little, um, uh, a little trip through Wahiwa, okay? Here we go. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor I don't mind selling out or playing cover song Just as long as friends and family sing along I don't need more money or a faster car, no Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no I'm gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hate Spain And on my face I feel you breathe to me, to by land, by air, by sea, and that is how it's supposed to be, now, and that much I can say, now. of bread down from the shell And how rare it is that I stay up past twelve In the backyard we are going to start a garden If that don't sound mighty good I beg your pardon Cause in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe to me, to by land, by air, by sea, and 
that is how it's supposed to be Now, I don't have much I can say Now If they don't love us, we don't need them Let's find our own brand of freedom If they don't love us, we don't need them Let's find our own brand of freedom Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor Anymore, anymore There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. How you go, oh, you guys, you make, a, you make a woman feel good. Well, guess what? Guys get fat, too. I got to tell you. Believe me, I speak from experience. I know I've been eating way too much chocolate lately. Oh. And again, I think I mentioned this yesterday. I do that terrible thing where I'll skip a meal so I can eat chocolate instead. And that probably has been affecting my sleep here. Oh, I just woke up. Hey, kualoha. How are you? Well, welcome to the the world of the awake. I know. Get that makapi up here out your eye. Nice to have you here. Thanks, eh? Hey, how are you, Uncle Pono? Huh? In the house. Huh? With that, uh, looks like that gaming uh, avatar there. Mean, that bugger. Oh, hey, is that a Mexican restaurant still open over there? Don't know which one you're talking about. It's a wonderful life. Um, there's the, there was, yeah, I think it was Mike's. And then I, I don't know. I don't, I don't go out to eat much. Uh, even before the Rona, I didn't, I didn't do that much. So no, I don't know. But there's a nice, there's a surf coffee shop there. That's kind of cool. How are you, Danny? Oh, and the, and the gangi. Goof aloha money and mahalo nui loa for all the gangi for supporting my side hustle. Yes, uh, Danny sells the, um, you know, the uh, garlic salts over there at uh, woodfungardens.com. And I think... Uh, we mentioned we went through everybody's side hustle a while back, and I think Danny got some orders. In fact, uh, uh, Auntie Bagel, how is that uh, hat and scarf thing going? I know you got kind of busy there. Auntie Bagel's trying to quit smoking, so we came up with this idea. She makes hats and scarves. Let's give her orders, and that way she'll be busy and won't be able to puff the coffin nails because we want Auntie Bagel to be around for as long as possible. How's that? Oh, I gotta do that with pancakes. Oh, don't say pancakes right now. Sounds so good. Oh, you know, I like the pancakes with the chocolate chips inside. You ever had that? Oh, me and my chocolate thing. I think there must be something in there that uh, I'm, I'm lacking in my life or something. Oh yeah, chocolate close to bedtime will wreck everything. Well, I don't do it close to bedtime, you know. Um, but when I'm editing, oh, I love to have a ice cold glass of milk and a big piece of chocolate. And I just, I call it editing food. I know. In bed with my fur babies. Ooh. <laughs> well, there's a visual picture. Oh, okay. I'm glad. Snuggle bunnies. Yeah, that's how my my little dog does that. If I lay in bed, like when I'm reading and stuff, she'll come up and she just snuggles right there, and then does that to my hand, like come on, and then I, uh, you know, <laughs> I know. Ah. Oh. Danny, that's from Cindy Krause right there. Steve Yosh, good morning. Kuhu aloha. And Uncle Pono, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here, what else? Uh, I had a friend say he was nervous going to his high school reunion because he gained a few pounds. When he get there, all the guys look like Burl Ives. <laughs> oh, do you remember Burl Ives? Yeah. I remember uh, someone told me um, Burl Ives always dressed to the nines. And in an interview, someone asked him about that. And he said, when you're fat, you have to. 
<laughs> uh, working on brake lines. Found out I get Rona tummy. <gasps> what? Steven, don't even joke about that. What? You never catch the Rona. Huh? I get Rona tummy. What does that mean, Rona tummy? Huh? Anything that has to do with Rona, I start freaking out already. Uh, I had to not go to, so far, three funerals. And I say not go to because you can't have them. Because, I know. Uh, oh, yeah. Why do I get the best... Uh, why do I... Why do I got the best pancake house? Yeah, the pancake house is still there in Wahiwa. Yep, that's still there. Yep. In fact, there's two of them, I think. Yeah, Wahiwa. Hey, how's it? Good morning. Tommy Star Turtle. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's try another poll here. Let's see what we have for you peoples. Let's see, we did. Have you ever lied? No, okay. Have you uh, lied to spare someone's feelings? What's this one here? Okay, here's, a, here's one for all you uh, wannabe musicians. The poll is, can you whistle? Okay, can you whistle, right? So here, let's start the poll. It, of course, we'll be at the top of the chat. And the choices are... Kinda, I can carry a tune, I can whistle well. Not well, but loud. And the last one, I can hail a taxi in New York. <laughs> That's me. I can't whistle, but I can do the, you know, the, you know, and I can make them loud. So there we go. See on that one, can you whistle? Couldn't bend over. Rona tell me. I, I, I don't know what does Rona have to do with Rona. You have our attention. I know, Green Man, right there. I have three projects going at once, Andy. Mahalo to you, Cindy, JC, and all my Hamajang Ohana for seeing me through these difficult days. This is day six. Good girl. Ooh, good girl. Seven is a big one, you know. You get through tomorrow, that's a week. I know, one week, because, you know, week rhyme with week. And you get past week, you get too strong. That's how. Okay, one day at a time, and that's how to think about it. Okay, one day at a time. Best pancakes at Boots and Chemos in Kailua. Oh, are they still there? I do not know. Oh, I'm just cruising around in the snow. Hey, Brian. Right? <laughs> well, that sounds like fun. <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Andy, plenty of people gaining weight during the shutdown for the... Oh, Rona Tommy. I get it. Oh, because you had gained weight because of... <gasps> oh, sorry. Mahalo Marmac for figuring that one out for me because my brain, when I see it, when I hear the R, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm a little too close to it, huh? Uh... Two pancake houses in Wahiwa? Well, it, it, I think there's like International House of Pancakes and then there's another kind of breakfast place that serves pancakes, but I think that's their specialty. No quote me, I might be wrong, okay? Empty bagel, just hours away from a whole week. Gee, whoo, see that? We're all trying to help her kick the, um, the habit and save Fifty dollars a carton. Well, how much is a carton of cigarettes now, right? Got to be forty-five, fifty bucks, right? Think about that. And you're literally burning money. You know, <laughs> there's a whole generation who uses literally incorrectly. But uh, I mean, I don't mean to be the grammar police, but you know. When people say, you know, oh, it was so funny, I literally died laughing. What? But you're still alive. No, I'm just saying I literally died laughing. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. 
hey, shaka kaka yaka. There we go. Iloakane, how's it going, Huh? Yeah, showed up. That's it. Good job, Auntie Bagel. Kane ohi pancake house is legit too. Yeah. I don't know, pancakes, it's, I guess it's hard to make a bad pancake, but, you know, because it's all about the syrup, isn't it? You know, I mean, if you get banana pancakes or, you know, people that, you know, I think two days at a time. <laughs> there you go. Let's change it, Gary. Remember, you got to take two days at a time. <laughs> well, I've been involved in some things in one day at a time. This show, I think about it literally one day at a time. And I mean literally, literally. <laughs> you know, I don't think about two days from now. It's like, okay, what am I going to do tomorrow, right? And I think about that this afternoon. I have to because if not, and it's happened, you know, where I just, ah, and then all of a sudden, ah. I think you guys have been here for those shows. I know if you don't have the polls or, you know, the music. In fact, is, uh, <clears throat> hey, Kevin, is Kevin Frazier here? I didn't, I don't think I see him because he wanted to, he wanted to go through Hawaii Kai and I, I made, I built that yesterday and um, I wanted to play it for him. But if he's not here, eh, that's all right. I'll go play him anyway. It's, uh, it's kind of a laid back uh, bluesy tune again. So. Uh, we'll, we'll play that next, and maybe we can catch them tomorrow. Oh, okay. So let's see, the poll. Ah, oh, can you whistle? Kinda, 34%. I can carry a tune, 38%. Wow, you're doing better than me. I can whistle well. Wow, 17% of the people think they can whistle well. Uh, not well, but loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Three percent, and I can hail a taxi in New York. Seven percent. That's only two people so far. And guess what? I didn't. I didn't take the poll, but that would be me. I never tried adding myself to the poll. Let me try. Hold on. Oops. If can I do it? Oh, no, I can't, I can't. I can't vote on the poll. Oh, I feel left out. How's it, Kevin? Oh, Kevin, how are you, brother? Did you, did you want to, were you the one asking about going through, uh, through uh, Hawaii Kai? Right? You were, huh? Was that you? I seem to remember your icon, your avatar being different. What, you and Changeo? Back. You go back and forth. Andy, I am present. Yes, but uh, did you ask about going through Hawaii Kai? That will be my question. Let me know. I like no, because after this uh, this uh, poll is probably we're going to do that. Okay. Oh, Tina Rose Cager, can't wait till you can give the gang that awesome update. We're all waiting for your arrival. She got to sell her house first, bro. I know. Ooh. Oh. Oh, E was eating eggs and S was still surfing. What does that mean? Yes, I asked about Hawaii Kai. Okay, right on. Okay, after this poll is power, I did a little. Uh, I did a little ride through Hawaii Kai. Just that main drag, you know, Kalani Anaoli, um, up to uh, to you know, right just before Portlock, you know. Yep. That's the one. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see. Hello, Andy and Gengi. Hi, Dan. How are you, Vera? Good to see you here in the chat and not just uh, on the whispers and, um, you know, in the chat comments uh, on the uh, replays. Yeah, you're very good about that. Mahalo, I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Brendan has to say. I went to m Middle East. I went to Middle East plenty while in the Air Force. Years later, my son went go Middle East and found exact spot I went to take one picture. And I then photoshopped them together. Lots of meaning there. Oh, wow. Mean, brah. Oh, yeah, that's got to be great. Oh, oh that's my four-year-old's book. He's learning how to read. 
Oh, well, thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> my, uh, my wife teaches reading to uh, um, fourth and uh, third and fourth graders. I don't know when you're four. That's kind of young, but, you know. Ooh. Big trips in Hawaii Kai yesterday. Why, what happened? Something went happen in Hawaii Kai. I never know. I never hear about, huh? What? Uh, I don't know what that was. Okay. When I whistle like a bird, my cat Kyler shows up. Nah. Oh, that's a smart cat. Oh, I like eat bird. There was a, a, a friend had a bird and, um, um, you know, it was one of those birds that can, you know, talk and make noise and, you know, I forget what kind, but uh, the cat would come over and bug it in the living room. So the bird would make the sound of a can opener and the cat would hear it and run to the kitchen. <laughs> and not until I heard that did I understand how um, these, these birds who could duplicate sounds, how it would help them survive, you know? I mean, think about that in the wild. All of a sudden, you know, you know, here's this animal and like eat you, right? And you are a bird and then you make the sound of a lion, right? And then the animal, whoa, and then the animal splits, right? You know, I mean, and I'm guessing in the wild, they don't make can opener sounds. So, you know what I'm saying? I know. Okay, let's see. I'm going to respond to comments like yours. <laughs> Island boy, I hear what? what? What's going on? I like eat bird. Well, shh, quiet. Shakalaka and uh, VC might be listening. <laughs> they, they, they get plenty of birds, you know. Well, chicken is a bird, you know. I know. Let's see. Okay. Um, how's it? Kanehikili. Eh, Dan saying how's it to everybody. Too funny. Gotta try that. What? <laughs> Gotta try what? I don't know what. Making a can opener sound? Andy, all the auto birds stay laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it'd be great to get a parrot to do my act and just put the bird on the stage. Oh, jungle fowl. I guess so. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. That's a jungle fowl. Okay, it's a wonderful life. Okay, you guys ready? Take a deep breath. Reminds me of Auntie Alehua. She used to complain about her roosters um, every single day. So her son and I for sitting on the back porch shooting some of them and she came out swinging a pan at us and we just said hey we're trying to help you and she said leave my roosters alone they're my roosters and I can complain about my roosters if I want wow that's a heartwarming story <laughs> wow Oh, lucky she never complained about her cows, eh, you buggers. Uh, we would have had to have been HUD version 2. Hey. Yes, Cindy. There we go. Okay. Hey, I missed the I missed the poll. Oh, that thing went end. Oh, no. Well, let me see. Okay, let's see. I got to go back here. Hold on. So 35% said kind of. 32% said I can carry a tune, 21%, I can whistle well, oh. 6%, not well, but loud, and 6%, and, and I can hail a taxi in New York. Yeah, I know there's a certain amount of pride in that. Okay. Okay, so here's the little Hawaii Kai thing. Uh, this is for you, Kevin, and um, again, I did this late last night, and I was kind of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just play it. No excuses. Here we go.
Kai, and wasn't it nice in that video where you saw that guy and he noticed that the UFO was having trouble on the side of the road and he decided to pull over and see if the UFO needed jumper cables? I mean, I was so touched by that. I went, you know, so often people would just go, ah, and just drive by, but no. I know, brought up, hey, I'll get jumper cable. What, bro? You need them. Eh? Well, you're having trouble with your flux capacitor. No, no, I, I, I get, no, okay. Just, you know, just let me show you, okay. I know, oh, that was very distracting. Yes, I'm glad, Kevin, there you go. Took me a while to find it, but <clears throat> oh, in William. Aloha from Virginia, loving the video and the music. Thanks for letting me come over. Hey, Brad Grad, no worry, brother. There you are. Just, you know, that's all. But, you know, we practice aloha here. That's all we ask, right? And no political, medical, or cynical. That's it. So you welcome here. Welcome to the Hamajang Gang. 
Asshole. Yeah, good morning, Red Grand. Yeah, Redford, huh? So what? That's all right there. My wife's school is right by Redford. Yeah? Hey, we get several in Virginia. What? <clears throat> UFOs, huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> last poll. I don't know. Let's see if we have uh, time for it. Okay, the last poll. Uh, have you ever ridden the bus regularly? Okay, that would be the key word. Have you ever ridden the bus regularly? Okay, let's start the poll. And as always, it's at the top of the chat. Okay, let's check it out. The choices are yes for work, yes for school. Before I had a car, I'd rather walk and no but I've driven one. <laughs> I have a friend, he's, he's a bus driver. He said, I would never catch the bus. <laughs> you know, funny, yeah. Uh, there we go. Wow, listen, before I had a car, yes, for school. Yeah, my, my son spent uh, almost a year and a half riding the bus everywhere. He got really good at it. And, you know, it was my, it was my uh, you know, the parent, instead of taking him town, I just take him, you know, like about a mile and a half over to the the main bus station and he catch bus all over, yeah. Oh, shoots, I had to miss the video. Uh, appointment showed up one hour early. Well, that's better than one hour late, I guess, eh, Marmac? Okay. Well, you can watch it in the rerun, and man, well, maybe we play it, uh, you know, tomorrow. If you if you uh, if you want to see it, you know, next uh, like tomorrow morning, just request it, and then I'll try throw them up again. Okay, you mean here, Stephen, 62, 63. Oh man, what are we talking about? Not Fahrenheit, huh? Yeah, that's, I, you know, that's not too bad actually. Uh, I love riding the bus on Kauai. Oh, do you? There we go. Um, my dad used to work for the bus, not as a driver, but only he would get free bus fare, not the rest of us. Oh, mama. Yeah. I've driven bus too, but only a couple times. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. I got to tell you, beach special from the bandstand to Makapu'u. Oh, could bring you board on the bus. Oh, bingo. That's all right there. I love when they started adding that thing where you could put the bike in the front of the bus. That was the best. I don't know who came up with that. Cut school and rode the bus to the beach. We go. Oh, no. Old bus everywhere after I got out of prison. Yeah, that's all right there. Hey, high school, yes. Plus... I could take surfboard, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, did they still let you do that? I'm guessing they would, right? You get, uh, you get free use of public transportation via employer, but no need since I work from home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, bus, one time to work. Make me fix my broken car. Oh, yeah, I know. Some people like it, you know. They just, it's easy, you can do stuff. I still do ride the bus, no car, plus bus stop about a hundred steps from where I live. What's better than that? As long as they're on time, you know, and they generally are. Uh, you ever be at a bus stop, Danny, and there's somebody else at the bus stop? I used to ride the bus quite a bit. And, um, there's that one guy who always stand up and looking down the road and, you know, walking around and then looking down the road where the boss and stand up. Look, you just want to go, bro, chill. You're making everybody nervous. <laughs> I know. There were years I had no car at all, but there are excellent public transportation. Yeah, that's how. Well, you live in the city. It's not the car, right? It's the parking. I know. He's living, I want to live in town. Pfft. You catch the bus because, you know, the expense of the car, number one, but parking it, what a hassle. Back in the 60s, we go around the island for one quarter. You know, Red Grad, I remember I used to catch bus 
after work from town back to Kahalu'u, you know, when I was living out there. Uh, and uh, the, it, all the local people had to stand because all the tourists would take the, that bus and went around the island for a quarter and they would sit down and, and watch and all the local people in the aisle. And, and I remember one day, this one guy, he just went off. You know, us guys, we all work. This is how we get for, come home for work. You guys sit here for a quarter so you can get free, you know, you know sightseeing tour. And blah, 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 blah. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But he was old he had to stand up all the way from town to Ka'aaba or wherever he live yeah I don't think it's the same now oh we would be fun to do a holo holo from the bus never mind it's for a show you know what uh they don't let you do that uh big squirrel nuts unless you do it real secretly but if you go there and you try to actually you know film on the bus they don't let they don't let you do that yeah and the bus driver tell you hey you know can't do that you know i don't know it's you know safety i guess kids and perverts you know and all this kind nowadays things are so different i know terrible eh? well so far the poll is yes for work 26 percent yes for school 24 percent before I had a car, 44%. How's that? <laughs> and two people. Hey, I ran a walk. <laughs> and nobody put no, but I've driven one. Hey, what happened? I thought uh, Brendan said he drove one. Oh, yes, Andy, like the guy who keeps hitting the button for the light to change. I know. What do they think? It works on air pressure, you know, or that uh, you get that elevator guy hit it. Cause stand back, walk up, hit him again. Stand back, walk up, hit him again. You know, it's like you like tell him, hey, you know, bro, there are some very good decaffeinated brands on the market. Okay, chill, you bugger. You're making everybody nerdish. Oh. <laughs> You ever, yeah, you ever get on an elevator, right? And then you, you get on an elevator and the guy's there like that and then you hit a button and you hit a guy. <sighs> because, you know, it's one stop before you get to his floor. It's like, brah, what you think? This is your private elevator, huh? Oh. But there's always the kid. <laughs> hit them all. <laughs> Uh, that's why I always leave early for things you never know. Not even if you put one extra kala in the basket for the bus driver. Ah, I know. We're talking about that Circle Island tour for 25 cents cheap buggers. I drove bus before and it's hard. Yes, it is hard and stressful. I have a friend, he drove bus for a long time. And none of that, you're expected to be the bouncer now. I was, you know, six, eight Samoan giant bug. I said, oh, believe me, he never have problem. But, you know, still, he's just, uh, some people, they get on the bus, they just act stupid. I don't know. Hey, hey, you would suck big time, Rick. Huh? Question, have you ever felt your bike after getting off the bus? Oh, have you ever left your bike after getting off the bus? Oh, that would suck big time, Rick. Oh, I get, no, no, I'm, oh, man, imagine that. Bro, <laughs> I bet you it's got to happen all the time. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. That's a mean one. Yeah, so It's a Wonderful Life says, yeah, that's what, um, we used to do when we got off the elevator, stupid kids would hit all the buttons and then run. <laughs> ah. oh. And what are you gonna do? Catch him. Okay, stay here. You gotta stay here and suffer with the rest of us. Ah. <laughs> I'm back. Before the Rona, I took the bus and train everywhere. I like trains. Yeah. Years ago, I lived on Kwajalein Marshall Islands. No privately owned motor vehicles, plenty taxis and bus free. Wow, that's interesting. How do they, what the government pays them? Somebody must have paid them because they got to buy gas and 
tires and maintenance and all that yeah i guess so aloha nani that's from dj right there oh or you're bored i mean leave it on the bus yeah <clears throat> oh no eat beans before riding the elevator <laughs> what are you kidding that's most of the fun right there <laughs> no eat beans oh hey green man i spent a few weeks on kwajalein oh. okay let's see how we're doing on the pole oh mostly before i had a car yeah that was my son to the max before i had one car oh hey we just got to the bottom of the hour and <laughs> thank you paul ended right on time before i had a car number one yes for work number two yes for school number three i'd rather walk number four and no one has driven a bus before well, there you go, gang. Hey, mahalo for being here. Uh, you know, appreciate it. Showing face one more time. And you know how it goes, right? Now we play uh, Lono's uh, Heavy on Hawaiian Style. So, hey, make one small, uh, you know, note so that, uh, and, you know, and, and hit the comments so I can use you in the uh, final, uh, you know, roll here as we close the show would appreciate it and that way we can uh, add you to the broadcast so when people watch the replay they can see all of our smiling faces okay so here we go we'll be back and say uh, aloha right after this here we go oh well never hit the button good enough let me try him again guess we need one of those kids from the elevator huh? here we go No? Hey, what's going on? The thing went switched. Uh-oh, the many who need stay attacking. Come on, you bugger. Uh-oh, do I have to do this manually? I will. Don't make me. Okay. You. Fuck. <laughs>
the kitchen. That's right, the kitchen. I play lunch. Head out the whole little bit. West side. Archie and the boys out there. They're heavy on Hawaiian style. Oh yeah. Catch some waves. Go home. Enjoy that day, butter. There you go, gang. Uh, thanks for being here. And uh, yeah, the many hoonies when decide, yeah, well, they don't like end the show. But you know what? Uh, we found heavy on Hawaiian style. And if you like that tune, go to lonomusic.com. You can see that as part of his 16 album compilation there available. Uh, check it out if you like. And hey, you know what? We'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we have a show at 6 a.m. and at 3.30 p.m. on the YouTube um, Facebook side. So, yeah, appreciate it, gang. Thanks, eh? Spock you later. Oops. Again, wrong button. <sighs>